The young lady you're about to meet never felt limited with only one arm, but she can't wait for what she'll be able to accomplish with her new addition. Charlie DeMar met her tonight. The sound of the cello never so moving. While Keegan fourth grader Tatiana Coletta I could jump up in this chair and go to the moon. Trying on her new 3D printed prosthetic arm is your bicep is going to go in this part here. For the very first time, wasting no time playing the instrument she loves. I've actually never been able to make a snowman or play the cello that well. So you're hoping for a lot of snow this winter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Music teacher Janine Woodman orchestrating the plan to get Tatiana the new arm. I customized the arm to her sizing and then uh, sent it off to an engineer in Chicago. That Chicago company went to work off of a few blueprints costing about 200 bucks, a fraction of a traditional prosthetic. I had to spend and about 12 hours assembling it. I'm so happy that I could do this for Tatiana. She was born without her arm and that's the only life she's known. Mom and dad fighting back tears. I'm happy for her. I just, um, I've seen her struggle a lot through life and I, uh, I just know this is going to make her life easier and she just, she deserves it. The possibilities of a piece of plastic <laughs> certainly worthy of a standing ovation. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Charlie, thank you. The money for the arm was put up by Bravo Waukegan, a not-for-profit organization helping music students in that suburb. And the colors of the arm, purple and pink, just so happen to be Tatiana's favorite. Congratulations to her.